This guy is called Charlie Morgan and he's made $17 million with an agency and I'm going to show you exactly how he did it and how you can copy him to get rich quick. But why listen to me? Well, I haven't made $17 million yet, but I do make about eighty grand a month running an info agency and I want to teach you how to do the same. So listen in, take notes and watch to the end because I guarantee the next 10 minutes will change your life if you do what I say. So what you need to understand is that Charlie actually started his first SMMA about seven years ago now, and it was called North Float Consulting. And in particular, he targeted gym owners and he helped them increase their members through social media marketing, through ads that they ran on Facebook. It was a pretty standard model at the time, and a lot of people are trying to do this today. And frankly, it's just too saturated. It was brilliant when social media ads were a new thing, and you could actually convince a business that they hadn't thought about this before, that it was going to be worthwhile. But in this day and age, it just doesn't work. But Charlie started this seven years ago, and he actually saw a fair amount of success here. He took it up to about $10,000 a month in profit, while he was just 19 years old, running the entire thing himself, which is a really solid achievement. But he did have one major problem here, in that he had a huge amount of client churn. Basically, he wasn't actually able to get good results for his clients, so they would always leave him. Maybe he was charging too much. Maybe he just wasn't adept enough at actually running ads itself. But he was brilliant at getting getting those clients. But once he had them, it was only a matter of time until they would churn, until they would stop being his clients because he wasn't doing enough good for that business. The value he was providing them was actually less than the price he was charging them for that service. And this continued to be a problem for him until he, until he came together with a guy called Bo who was also running an SMMA and wasn't that great at sales, but was brilliant at actually running the ads and optimizing them on driving results for his clients. So Charlie and Bo, they teamed up together and they ran the exact same niche, the exact same business model. Charlie focused exclusively on getting the clients, on running lead flow, on closing clients, on getting sales, and Bo focused on the delivery of those services. And this partnership worked really, really well for them together and they scaled it up to $100,000 a month in revenue for this business for the two of them within one year. Now, don't get me wrong, this made Charlie well off, definitely well off, but he had processing fees to deal with. He was using softwares. He had other costs as well, like paying for staff or contractors. And that meant that about 100 grand a month they took in in revenue wasn't profit. Still a solid agency can still sit at about 80% profit margins. So they would likely take in home $80,000 a month in profit. But again, that's cut down further because Charlie was working with a partner, with a 50-50 partner as well. So really, he was likely only making about $40,000 a month in profit here. And I know I'm saying only here, like that's a bad thing. It isn't at all. That's a great income to make, especially when he was so young at just 20 or 19 years old. But that isn't enough to make you $17 million within seven years. So what actually changed for Charlie and how did he actually get rich? Because it wasn't through this agency like he claims. Well, the real game changer for him came when he left that agency and he started an education company to actually partner up with and help other agency owners, other coaches, other consultants scale up to the level that he had done for himself. And this is where all of Charlie's money actually comes from. And it's still around today. Uh, it's called Imperium Acquisition is the company name. And they're running a course on it, their main product offering called Easy Grow. And he's doing about a million dollars a month in sales right now, which, let's be honest, is pretty insane, all from basically selling a course. Now, how does this program actually work? It's pretty simple. He runs it through a software called School. It's just this massive course that has hundreds of hours of content. He does, I think, 30 separate group coaching calls every single week, but no real one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, you can DM a coach if you have a specific question but you don't have the accountability or the real impacts that you get from one-on-one -on -one coaching. And you pay for it monthly. Uh, it costs about $1,000 a month and you have to stay in for 10 months before you have completed the program, which means it's a $10,000 course, which is pretty insane, obviously. The benefit of this is that they do offer essentially a guarantee or a refund policy, which basically says that if you do everything they tell you to do, you watch through the entire course and you stick at it for 10 months and you haven't made any money uh, or you haven't made your full money back, then you get a full refund. But the problem with that is that you have to watch literally hundreds of hours of content and putting like a thousand hours worth of work. And at the end of it, if it doesn't work, you still lost all that time and you have to wait, you know, 10 months of paying month over month over month 
to actually be able to get that that refund in. Now, the most important thing to take away from this isn't what the course is or if it's effective or anything like that. It's what is the vehicle that Charlie is making a million dollars a month with and what is the vehicle that Charlie was making $40,000 a month with and where did his money actually come from? Because that's the overarching claim we're addressing here. He made $17 million at, I think, the age of 26 and he wants us to believe that it came from running an agency, but it didn't. It came from selling a million dollars a month worth of courses. So if we're looking to get up to that level of income, or even we're looking to get to 100 grand a month or 200 grand a month or whatever it is, whatever that big overarching figure is for you, how can we actually copy him and get rich as well? How can we actually use the same vehicle that he uses to make our money? And we know that the Slotman Agency is a brilliant option. Whatever niche it's in, whether it is SMMA, copywriting, info agency, like what I do, we know that it's the easiest way to start making serious money but we probably don't want to start a traditional SMA like Charlie did because let's be honest, he started it seven years ago and there have been 100,000 new entrants to the market over those seven years and the vast majority of physical businesses out there have already been cold called 100 times and cold emailed 100 times and cold pitched 100 times on running marketing through Facebook ads or TikTok ads or whatever it is for their business. We know that that's too saturated and it just isn't going to work anymore and we also know but Charlie, yeah, he made good money from his agency, sure, but he only started to make millions when he started selling courses and info products instead of a done-for-you agency service. So why should we be the ones messing around here with agencies in a different niche when we could just start an agency in the info product niche, which is actually targeting the exact same methods that Charlie specifically used to make money? And this is actually how I make money. And I'm currently doing about $80,000 a month, I think I mentioned earlier on. And actually, this is how every single wealthy person you see online actually makes their money through selling information, information in the form of products known as info products, courses, communities, fitness plans, uh, you know, nutrition plans, diet plans, anything online that is instantly fulfillable and is mainly just information, you can scale it to the moon. Now, the overarching problem with this is that you need an audience to sell that information to. You may have the best information in the world that can change someone's life, but if you don't have an audience who's going to listen to you and hear out your sales pitch, that's pretty much worthless and you're not going to make any money with this whatsoever. So the strategy that I used to get around that three years ago when I started off here is called an info agency because we help people scale info products with an agency service. And this is how you're actually going to copy Charlie Morgan's success. Now, you watching this, you probably don't have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube like Charlie. You probably didn't get a million views on YouTube last month like Charlie did. And so how the hell are you going to sell $17 million in info products? Well, here's the thing. You start an agency where you partner up with the creator who's already built that audience and is already good at making content and has that diehard fan base who are going to buy from them. And then you build info products with that creator who you partner up with and you help sell them. You help build those info products, market them and sell them. And then you get a cut of the profits. This, as I said, is exactly what I do. And it's where the vast majority of my money comes from. Now, you can work with anywhere from one to 20 clients at a time. But some clients alone will be able to make you like 50 grand a month. Back in February, early February, I think it was the 4th of February, I signed a brand new client and I made $18,000 in profit for myself with that one client in just three weeks. I also made a video breaking down exactly how I did that, like giving you numbers by the day kind of thing, which you can check out in the description down below. But the overarching theme here I want you to take home from this is that Charlie Morgan didn't get rich from running an agency. Iman Gazi didn't get rich from running an agency, signed a stage. Every single person out there, Jordan Platton, who says they got rich running an agency, they didn't. All of their money came from education, from selling information. And so why should we be the ones who are forced to adopt a subpar business model whilst the people supposedly teaching us are running the best business model, which is selling info products? You have 95% profit margins with info products. You have instant fulfillment. You have, you know, you don't have to chase clients to actually give you their money. You don't have to make a product every single week and then fulfill it every single week for a brand new customer. You make the product once and you fulfill it instantly without any input from yourself because you can build it up with systems incredibly easily 
and you can sell that one product forever to a million different people. And then on top of that, when you partner up with a creator by running an info agency, you have money stored up in the bank. Every time you, you make a connection with someone online, you essentially sell them. It's just a matter of when and what do you actually cash in on that goodwill that you built up with them. So you partner up with a creator who already has an audience built. They already have that goodwill. They've got money in the bank waiting to be cashed out. And you just need to come along. You need to help this creator out, help them make an info product, market it and sell it. And you can get all of that money that's been banked from the past. Now, you cannot sell that info product yourself without an audience. But there are millions of creators out there who are brilliant at making content, who make really interesting videos and have a great fan base, but they don't have the time or the knowledge or just the ability to say fuck it and work it out as they go to actually go out there and sell their info products themselves. So they need someone to partner up with them. Um, if you build your agency around what people actually need, what their actual pain points are, you're going to perform 10 times better than just picking a random SMMA and just cold calling random physical businesses, hoping that they've never been pitched TikTok ads or Facebook ads or Google ads before. Because we all know it isn't going to work. Every one of us here has probably tried running an SMMA. I know I tried it as well and it just didn't work. But the info agency was the first model that really clicked for me, where everything made sense, where actually everyone who I'd seen making money online, I could align that directly to what an info agency was. And so I wasn't just you know, throwing shots in the dark, hoping that this was the final one that would actually work, even though the guru teaching it isn't even doing it himself.